Greetings, this is Shrutika Prasilla. I hope you all are doing good. I'm so happy and glad to come before you all today. And I'm here with a prophetic word, a prophetic declaration over your lives. Children of God, people of God, get ready. Your season of honor is here. God is ready to exalt you. God is ready to take you up to the places of honor because this is the word for this season. Your due season of honor is here. And I I believe you've already received this word and you're going to see the manifestation of this word in your lives as you receive it in Jesus name. Amen. So let us learn from the word of how we can receive honor in, in our lives or what we need to do in order to receive honor in our lives. So let's read the scripture in Proverbs 15:33. It says, Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord and humility comes before honor. Humility comes before honor. You know, the Bible says that as long as heaven and earth exist, seed time and harvest will continue, will pursue, right? So this uh, principle of sowing and reaping is not only you know connected to finances people misunderstand or they they uh, they're only limited to that knowledge that you know you sow your money you receive money or you sow uh, an apple seed or a mango seed you receive fruit not only that the 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 principle of sowing and reaping is not limited to just your finances or you know uh, uh, one thing but it is related to every aspect of our life whether it is physical spiritual and relationships so as we read in the scripture for us to receive the harvest or reap the harvest of honor in our lives, it's important for us to sow seeds of humility in our lives. So when we sow the seed of humility, you receive the harvest of honor. Amen. So let us see how the manifestation of this scripture, this word has taken place in one of the most amazing persons that I love from the Bible. That is the life of the great King David. We know the story of David of how he had his humble beginnings where he was just a shepherd boy. God took him from that humble place of being a shepherd and making him as the greatest king, as honoring him as the greatest king of the nation of Israel who ever ruled the nation of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. He was a history maker. From that position of humility God honored him as a history maker as a greatest king amen and let us see one portion of his life very interesting where he uh, uh, exhibited the character of humility and how he received honor in his life we know that he, I'm going to have chosen one of Jesse's sons as the next king of Israel so Jesse comes up and he's you know bringing all of his sons one by one one by one and you know Samuel is like no God is like you know he's not the guy he's not the guy we know you know as we read the later part of the story that Jesse's sons were all well built you know strong men serving in the army right so one by one Samuel was thinking oh yes Lord he's the one oh yes Lord he's the one looking at his outward looking at their outward appearance but God said no 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 he's not the one so finally he reaches the end and then Jesse says yes that's it there no I don't have any more sons but Samuel says no no you have somebody just think and then he remembers you know Jesse remembers oh yes I have another son he's a shepherd boy busy taking care of the flocks. so let me go send out for him and call him then David comes and Samuel appoints him and then God says yes he's the one and he appoints him as the king right so that's it there was nothing more we don't see anything uh, anything after that but the story after that is very interesting okay so what happens the next uh, day we see that you know there is a war uh, against the Philistines come up to uh, fight against the nation of Israel and they send their giant you know Goliath to fight them right and everybody are there and all the army the Israel army is there ready to fight and everybody is nervous scared don't know what to do so meanwhile what Jesse does is you know he's concerned for his sons so he tells David you know what I want you to go check on your brothers I think they must be hungry uh, they're there fighting you know in the battlefield they're going to fight just take food for them you know and give them food because they need energy they need strength to fight Goliath the Philistine right so I love the attitude of David here you know if I were in David's place right I would think you know I would imagine you know what all these days I did not have honor in my life 
you know i was your son in fact you didn't even remember that you know i'm your son prophet samuel came and you didn't even remember until he asked i think there is somebody else and god honored me in front of you you humiliated me all the days of my life and god honored me as you know he anointed me i i you think i am going to carry this lunch boxes and go give it to my brothers who you know i am not going to do that they don't deserve it i am anointed i am highly favored right so i would do that but david didn't do that i love the attitude of david he said yes father okay let me do that he showed the attitude of humility that he was ready to carry those lunch boxes to his brothers and go and give it to them you know what my dear friends later part you know this the story right david was elevated he he was ready to fight the uh, you know the enemy he you know fought him defeated him and we know the story he was victorious he, how he was greatly honored in amidst the entire nation of israel we know that but the beautiful part here is even though even though david was honored just right before he chose to remain humble he chose to sow that seed of humility and he said yes dad i am ready to carry this this lunch boxes to my brothers this is this is like a representation you know it is like an analogy like as if he's carrying his honor you know that act of humility where he humbled himself he lowered himself and he said you know what this he, he didn't know it he didn't realize that he was actually carrying his honor to the battlefield there and then we see how he was victorious became the greatest nation of israel right but the beautiful thing is about david is you know it doesn't end there his humility doesn't end there the story of humility even uh, you know we know that it is easy to be humble when you are nothing you know being uh, showing the attitude of humility when you are nothing it doesn't matter but when you are somebody when you reach a position right when you reach a stature in your life it's not easy to stay humble there that's a testing point and we know the story of uh, david where you know he commits a mistake he he messes up big time right and uh, god sends his prophet to correct him but I love the attitude of David. He was ready to take that correction. It is not easy especially when you've done a mistake. You are in that place of honor, okay? You are a king. You are you know you 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 achieved it all, okay? And you're there and you mess up. You did a mistake and somebody is coming and pointing out at your mistake. It's not easy at that moment, at that time to lower yourself. But he realizes and he says, "Yes, Lord, I messed up. I know I did." And he was ready to humble himself realizing that what he had done was a mistake and you know of course he had to face the consequence but god honored him he didn't lose his honor that is the best part sometimes my dear friends we might mess up without our knowledge without our you know unintentionally we might mess up but god will not remove that honor when we choose to humble and say god i messed up i realized i i you know i i went wrong i went i missed the path but i know you're faithful i know you still love me i know you're going to elevate me still right so this is the word that i have for you my friends that as you cultivate the culture of being humble cultivate the culture of humility you are going to receive honor in your life get ready my friends god you will go through little phases here and there where god will test your humility pass those tests and i'm telling you you will reach that final position you will reach a final destination of honor and i see god is elevating many of you from low positions he's going to upgrade you to high your positions as you humble yourself as you lower yourself you know sometimes in situations it it so happens that we feel that we are right people are putting us down but even then when you choose to remain humble god will elevate you like nobody he, you you wouldn't have even imagined that you would have that you are reaching such a great height in your life because god is counting everything that you do my friend i'm telling you whatever we do whatever you sow into the kingdom of god you sow humility you will receive honor you so you you become humble you will receive honor in your lives amen and i am excited and i believe as you receive this word with expectation you're going to testify for sure that god is honoring you in your lives amen hallelujah i hope and i believe that you've been blessed through today's word if you think this has encouraged you and you think it will encourage your friends and family go ahead and share this video with them and i'm sure they are going to be blessed as well amen so if you are here for the first time on our youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel key to heaven ministries for further and future updates on our videos 
and also we have this wonderful opportunity where you can sign up for one on one where you can have a, you know you're looking for a direction in your life you're looking for prayer and counsel here is an opportunity for you to register for one on one with the house of prophets on our website houseofprophets.in it's free of cost you just have to go fill in your details and we'll schedule a one on one interaction with you and also if you're looking to be mentored by a ministry by a prophetic ministry you want to grow in the lord there is another opportunity as well to register for the special whatsapp group so take hold of these opportunities we are here as a family as a house of prophets to serve you and to serve the body of christ amen so let's pray Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus Father God. I declare and I decree that you are about to elevate the people of God who are watching this video today. They will their due season of honor is here. Their due portion of honor is about to be released upon their lives. It is already done in Jesus mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen. So I will see you again in the next video. Until then, please remember that you are blessed and highly favored. Amen.